Hello! Doing two videos today. Why not? So I'm going to do another intro video uh, to kind of show you just some other functions that might be useful for you. These are uh, kind of some cool functions that you can use to really just kind of make your program feel more like a program, I guess you could say. So let's look at the code. So the first one's pretty simple. Just sound beep. When I push that, it's going to make a ding on my computer. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear this, but here we go. So it beeped in my headphones a few times. Not sure if that's going to get picked up. We'll find out. So with the sound beep, all you're doing is sound beep, comma, uh, your frequency, you know, how loud do you want that tone to be, and for how long. So half a second there, because it's always done in milliseconds. If you want it to go for longer, you know, just increase that number. Lower tone, lower number, higher, higher tone. Then we got sound play. Kind of the same idea up here, but you can play an actual file. Sound beep is just like a default computer uh, file that they uh, use for whenever like an air is thrown. But sound play will let you uh, pretty much play anything, actually. Uh, you know, WMV videos, MP3s, MP4s. Uh, so it can play both sound and video, which is really cool. Also, it's fun to annoy people. Make a nice little loop here and just spam someone's computer. Definitely not teaching you guys how to make viruses. <laughs> um, now, another thing you might want to do is if some type of action's just being ran and you need the user to kind of stop what they're doing for at least a few seconds, you can actually turn their keyboard and mouse input off. Um, so right here, I just have it turning it on send high, and once high has been sent, I'm going to give them back their access. So this could be helpful just if you're doing like a bunch of send commands like here, and someone just suddenly clicks somewhere while it's doing its thing, it, it can mess it up. So that's very helpful to use. The nice thing too is this will just turn the keyboard and mouse off. You're still able to mimic typing with like sends, input, and whatnot. Now the next kind of stuff, it's really helpful for gaming. I've seen people use this in like World of Warcraft as a way to automatically click on like their mods or um, buffs. So we're just going to do an image uh, search. I don't have World of Warcraft at the moment, so I'm just going to use my YouTube page. So I went ahead and captured this, which I'll bring over here. Don't know why my pictures never like to open the first try. Windows issue, I guess. So I just took a picture of pretty much my icon and name there. Hopefully the 37 subscriber doesn't change why I'm recording this video or this picture won't work. So what it's going to do, it's going to try to see if that picture exists anywhere on my screen. So I just want 0, 0, the coordinates basically up here. And then I just do the built-in variables that AHK has, screen width and screen height. That way I can search the whole screen. If you're only wanting to search in certain spots, definitely play around with these, and you'll get eventually get to where you need to be. I then want to know, did it find it or not? So I'm just using an if output variable, which is this. If it's blank, message box, no, nothing yet, sorry. But if it does find it, else, message box, I found the picture, and just show me those coordinates in case I want them. So I'm going to go ahead and try that out with F3. So let's do it first with it not there. I'm going to push F3. No, nothing yet, sorry. Let me go ahead and open that back up again. Do it again. And I found the picture at 171. So I found it. And, you know, if I want it to actually do something when it finds it, you can obviously not have to use message box. You can make it send stuff, kind of like what I have down here with move, mouse click. So that's really cool for, I uh, use this a lot in video games. Uh, I've done a script once where I had Minecraft doing an auto digger. And every like few seconds it would do a check for a diamond pick in my inventory. And if it didn't find it, it was going ahead and opening up my inventory and replacing it for me. 
and continuing on with mining. I might do a video later, because that, that was a lot of fun to make. Now, the problem with image search, it it can honestly be very picky, and everybody has different resolutions and everything. Their Chrome is zoomed in differently, so this isn't really going to work for everybody unless they're constantly changing it's a match everything. So that's why I prefer to use this. Pixel get color. So I'm going to push F4. It's going to get the position of my mouse. And then I want to get under my mouse what the pixel color is there. Message box, the color is at the current position. At the cursor's current position is, tell me what that color is, the hex number. And if the color is blank, meaning it doesn't exist, then I want to move my mouse to those coordinates and click. That way maybe I'm trying to activate something. The reason I use a mouse uh, move, because right here I'm grabbing underneath the mouse, but I'm just doing it again in case I've moved the mouse by accident oh so slightly. I want it to 100% click where it's supposed to. So let's go ahead and let's try to grab this orange, if I can get to it. So F5, did I say F5 or F4? Four. There we go. The color at the cursor position is, and that long number. So I could use this as a detection, basically saying that whenever I see this existing on my screen, I want you to move your mouse here and click it, because I just wanted to go into my studio or something. But this is very helpful to do in video games, like I said. I prefer to go with the pixel get color uh, way, just because it's more universally helpful for people, just because everybody has different settings on their computer. But either one's going to work. Alright. Probably going to be a few days till the next one. I got uh, some stuff I got to get done. So go ahead and subscribe, that way you know when the new ones come out. See ya.